Because in infrastructure, right, nobody's gonna in earnest suggest that you'll just let AI write Terraform and run the ply for you without you know, any human oversight, right? There's one more thing that's gonna complicate the picture here. Um, most of you that are here on this conference where we talk about platform engineering are in one or more ways related to an IT infrastructure team very much focused on securing the cloud, making it available, and working you know, by tendency in the lower layers of the application stack. There is a difference in speed, essentially, um, that we see, or in velocity, um, that these teams are working at. So if you are exposed to the business and writing functionality for the business, all of a sudden the pressure of these, like this 20% bar um, that, that has risen uh, by 20%, you're gonna feel that much more than if you're working down in infrastructure. Because in infrastructure, right, nobody's gonna in earnest suggest that you'll just let AI write Terraform and run the ply for you without you know, any human oversight, right? That's, that's not what we're gonna see. We're not gonna see AI making changes to our service or to our infrastructure. Um, that's always gonna be the realm of like deterministic automation. But the landscape looks very different if on the front end side of things that We've you know, thrown away the front end every two years to rewrite it in another JavaScript framework anyway. We can now do the same thing in like two days with AI, right? So the kind of the, the velocity difference that you get between the, the, the working speed essentially that you're operating at with these teams only decreases and, and combined with the trust issue that I've mentioned earlier, it's gonna make it ever harder for application teams to communicate in the same way with the platform team that's just living in another reality.